just found me online. I'm sorry, this is not a how-to video. This is just a, a crazy idiot in his kitchen who a couple of weeks ago thought, well, I've got a good idea. Let's brew a non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> New Year's resolutions, we all have them. At the time, they're a good idea. A couple of weeks later, what the hell were you thinking? What of mine this year was to drink less during the week. Um, let's be honest guys, since we've been home brewing, I don't know about you, but me personally, I've been drinking far too much beer. Um, far too much beer. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to have three, day, uh, three dry days per week. Um, and on week one, I managed to get through two days, and on the third day, I caved in. I couldn't do it. So I've changed that. I've amended that New Year's resolution to two dry days per week. Um, but I thought, there, maybe there's a way around this. <laughs> At the end of the day, I just love the process of brewing. Um, I love drinking beer. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm just addicted to beer. I had a look online, non-alcoholic beers, I couldn't find any videos at all. Um, and what I did discover is some people have brewed just a normal beer, they fermented it a couple of weeks, and then they popped it back into the boiler and basically boiled the alcohol away, which doesn't sound very nice, does it? If you look on the market, there's not a lot of non-alcoholic beers. There are a few that are zero percent, which, you know, what what is in that? Oh, that must be full of shit, full of chemical crap. Um, a brew dog, a few years ago, came up with Nanny State, which, if you've tried it, it's not great, but it's it's almost a beer, so I decided I'll give it a crack. Let's give it a go. So my challenge to you guys is, because I'm still relatively new to brewing, I'm still coming up with new recipes myself, which are very simple. Uh, I've explained this before. What I'm doing now is one recipe which I'm copying and one which I'm making up. But you guys, you guys have been brewing for years, quite a few of you, and you come up with some fantastic recipes. So my challenge to you out there, if you're up for it, is try and brew a non-alcoholic beer. Um, and when I say non-alcoholic beer, you know, we're never going to achieve 0%. So let's just call that 1% or less. And the way Brewdog got around that is they have 790 grams, that's it, of malt. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different varieties of malt. We've got Munich, Caramel Malt, Crystal 150, Amber, Dark Crystal, Chocolate, Wheat and Rye. So maybe that's the way around it, just many different types of malts keep it below um, 800 grams I guess and a shit ton of hops <laughs> now I'm under no illusions here I know you know this is probably gonna taste like hoppy water um, and that's why I've decided this is gonna be a grain to glass video so you guys can see at the end of this video if this resembles beer at all because I, <laughs> I don't think it will. Um, but let's find out. Stay tuned, guys. Let's find out. The IBUs of this beer is 55. And the ABV is 0 0.5. Um, I've had a play on Beersmith. Uh, and it's looking like I'm more likely to achieve 0.8%. And 
I've played about with the hop schedule just slightly, just, just to get it up to 55 IBUs. So we're bittering with just, just a small amount, Armorillo, Simcoe and Centennial. And then for the middle, I've gone with 25 minutes. And then I'm also going to chuck in a few hops, 5 minutes towards the end of the boil, lower it to 80 degrees, and I'm going to steep 1, 2, 3, 4 different types of hops, and then dry hop. Um, and the mash process, obviously 790 grams, you don't really need a lot of water for that, so what I did, um, I've got my stove top pot, and I just chuck the grains in here, and I chuck two liters of water, and I just played about with the temperature and, and tried to maintain it around 65. Uh, the recipe says half an hour, but you know I had to heat up 27 liters of sparge water which, you know, I can't do that in half an hour, so I ended up mashing at 55 minutes. Um, and it, it started at 65 degrees and it ended up around 58. Um, because, you know, it isn't great in this little thing. So, I all I did then is everything in here, I dumped into my mash tub. And, yeah, I just, now I'm sparging. The yeast I'm using is US05, our favourite. Um, and I'm also going to add in some yeast nutrient because um, you know, there's not a lot for the yeast to eat here, is there? Uh, I will chuck in the whole packet, but who knows? Who knows? As as you can imagine, I am I I would I was you know I am gagging to go onto BrewTube and ask for advice. Um, I want to know if anyone else has brewed this before, but I thought, nah, fuck it, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm doing, really, um, but I'm just going to brew like it's an ordinary beer. And we'll soon find out, won't we, if uh, I've completely fucked this up. This is probably going to be one of those that gets chucked. But, hey, altogether, this cost me like 15 quid for the ingredients, so... You know, it's worth a try, isn't it? It's worth a try. You know, maybe I'm going to start a new craze here. Non-alcoholic home brewing. Oh, I fucking doubt it. Uh, I'll catch you in a bit, guys.
evening guys so um, as you can see it looks like beer um, I don't think the camera picked that up properly um, glasses on but it came out at 10.07 maybe 10.08 um, which, believe it or not, is, is roughly where it should be. This is the wart, soon to be beer. Mm. Okay, so, you know, it never tastes good, does it? But it's quite bitter, actually. And it's clearly, clearly very thin. Um, and what I've done, yeast nutrient, so I've put in a, tea, a whole uh, teaspoon um, 10 minutes before the end of the boil and I'm, I think I'm going to go with it and put more, maybe another half a spoon into the fermenter. Uh, I'm going to put the whole packet in. It seems weird because uh, maybe this is too much, maybe I should only put half a pack. But I'm going to go for it. So, I'll see you in maybe four, four to six weeks when I do a taste test. Right then, it's the future. It's the 22nd of Feb. I previously left you on the 19th of Jan. So we've been in the bottle for about two and a half weeks. Um, I'm not sure the shelf life of non-alcoholic beer. Um, so I'm guessing two and a half weeks should be good. I wanted to wait for, but I can't be bothered, so I'm going to do it now, upload this later. Um, if anyone has brewed non-alcoholic beer before, what is the shelf life? Um, I'm going to drink these pretty quick probably, so shouldn't nothing really to worry about. Um, we finished at 10.06 by my calculation. 0 0.26 and 0.3% non-alcoholic drink. <laughs> uh, here it is, here's a bottle. It's got a little tiny this. I tried to overcarb this. Um, you'll see. And there isn't much head. Uh, this, uh, confession, this isn't my first one. There isn't a much head. Um, and it does dissipate very quickly. And I'm guessing the reason for that is the yeast in there was hungry. The yeast that's in the bottom of these bottles, <laughs> it was hungry. So I added priming sugar to the priming bucket, as I always do. Like I said, as the yeast was hungry, maybe it created some alcohol? Don't know. Um, but anyway, there are no streaming bubbles. Are there a few? Are there a few actually? Uh, you can't see that. As you can see, it's nice and clear. Um, probably because it hasn't got a lot of malt in there. <laughs> um, the aroma. Well, Let's just say it's like a, a soggy hop aroma. It's not bad. It's a soggy hop. It's the best way to describe it, like fresh. If you get your hops and dip it in water, that's the aroma. 
but it's not bad. And um, anything else I should mention? Oh, one thing I should mention. So a bottle like that, 500 pint ish, 35 calories according to Beersmith. <laughs> 35 calories, 0.3-ish percent, have as many as you want, guys, during the week, you know, but what does it taste like, well, if you've tried Nanny State, this is better, in my opinion. And I have, um, I did some research, probably should have kept one of these to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I'm not bothered about that, if it tastes the same or not, I'm not bothered, I'm really not bothered. Uh, so there's the real deal. I think this is better because theirs is, theirs is actually carbonated, which is weird, um, and mine is flat, but... Theirs is too bitter. It's too bitter. It's not it's not very nice. And this is bitter too. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's not bitter because it, it, it in comparison to other normal beers it's bitter. And again, like the aroma, it has a wet hop taste to it. But it's not unpleasant. And you know, by by a million miles, it's the best, in my opinion, my humble opinion. This is the best non-alcoholic beer that I've ever had, and I made it myself. Um. If you compared this to a normal beer, this tastes like shit. You know, let's be honest about it. If you put that in front of someone who who didn't know what it was, they're like, "What is? What is that? That's a bit weird." It's not. It's not like uh, your average day pale ale or anything. Um, But it's drinkable, and it's not as thin as I thought it would be. Um, it feels like beer. It tastes like drinking a beer. It tricks your senses. And I actually quite like the bitterness. If you're, if you're into bitter beers, I'm not going to say bitter, I just mean like bitterness, you would like this. So the conclusion is, guys, give it a try. Seriously, give it a try because it's it's you know it's not great. It's not great. It doesn't replace beer. No fucking way. <laughs> no way does it replace beer. But I think I mentioned this before. I don't need to explain why there's an there's there could always be an occasion why you need a non-alcoholic beverage and don't drink coke because coke is full of sugar it's full of shit this is 35 calories probably has sh sugar in it too but it's 35 calories guys <laughs> that's it no alcohol here I can go and drive possibly no of course of course I can I can go and drive because there's no alcohol in this um, although, like I said, maybe the priming sugar has bumped up the percentage up a bit, um, which is possibly why on here they got 0.5%, so maybe it is now 0.5%, I don't know how I, I can calculate, how can I calculate the actual alcohol content in here, I don't know. But anyway, it's got bugger all in there. <laughs> So, 
<laughs> the conclusion is, guys, give it a crack. Um, if you're an experienced brewer and you want to have a go at making your own recipe, I copied theirs, but if you want to have a go making your own, please do and please share um, because this solves a problem for me because I drink too much and as I've mentioned before I need to go two three days a week where I'm not touching alcohol it's a sensible approach um, so this is my cheat <laughs> so take care everyone this is one take. Ooh, see ya.